Hi guys, welcome back to Wheel of Eight Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Nightwing, issue 65, written by Dan Jurgens with art by Ronan Cliquette, continuing the story of Talon hunting down Nightwing, uh, or Rick Grayson, and trying to convert him to be a Talon. Uh, also, in the city of Bloodhaven, there are riots and looting and all kinds of bad stuff that the other Nightwings are uh, trying to help out with. So, um, I picked Nightwing back up starting issue 63, and I've actually been enjoying it now that I'm reading it again. I jumped off of it back in the 55, something like that. Really didn't care for it, but someone let me know that it was starting to get a little bit better and that issue 63 marks the start of a new story arc, and I have definitely been enjoying that, so thank you guys for letting me know. So let's dive into this comic, and we'll go through it like we do here on the channel. So this opening page is just kind of giving you... Um, a, uh, an update on what's going on in, in Bloodhaven. It says, Bloodhaven ruled by chaos and mayhem. Power outages and blackouts have pushed the cities to the edge. Uh, riders, looters, and criminals on the verge of taking over. Uh, one of the, the Nightwings, Zack, I believe Nightwing Blue, if memory serves, was um, brutally attacked by the Talon, and he, or, uh, by Talon William Cobb and put into um, a coma, and he's in, in the hospital now. And now... Nightwing or Rick Grayson is on a rooftop about to uh, about to fight um, Talon, and he's got to be there with him. We turn the page and we get this great two-page spread. I love that Talon attacking with uh, Rick Grayson there, and then the city on fire in the background. A really good spread there. Um, and so B's like, "You're not gonna fight him, are you?" And uh, Rick is like, "Yeah, I've got to fight him. It's uh, I'm the one he's after." So. Just got some pretty sweet uh, action stuff going here. I always love these when you see uh, uh, Dick flipping around, Dick or Rick, whatever, flipping around. Um, and he says, um, Nightwing, or Talon says, You are Richard Grayson, son of the great aerialist John and Mary Grayson. We have a lot to talk about, Richard. And yes, you guys do have a lot to talk about. Um, and so they just keep fighting and, you know, kind of... Talon gets the upper hand on him, hanging him um, over, um, over the... Uh, over the side of the bridge there, then he drops him over, but he does, let's see if I can get this on camera, drops him onto this um, kind of canopy here, and then he does the Nightwing thing, bounces off of it, hits the wall, hits the wall there, and lands safely. And of course, what does he find when he lands safely on the ground? He finds two perfectly placed, pristine, gleaming <laughs> even, uh, pipes there that he's going to use for his Kimbo sticks? That may be the wrong term. Um, that's what my brain tells me is the right term, but I'm betting it's wrong. And you guys, I know, will correct me uh, down in the comments. Um, so we go back up here. Uh, B jumps on his back in a uh, valiant effort, but a, a, a effort in a vain nonetheless that uh, tries to attack him. She He uh, chucks her off pretty quick. Um, he says, uh, you're important to Richard, which makes you important to me. You live for now. Like, she, uh, B really uh, tries his patience, uh, in this one. And then the Talon here says, this is the culmination of a highly detailed and coordinated plan. With this, I will bring Richard and perhaps you into the court where he belongs. So, Talon is really okay with, um, B coming into, uh, into the court with, with Rick, which I find, you know, pretty interesting and maybe even a little, um sickly enduring or very twisted that the the villain is is uh, pretty okay with that but you know he's now uh, 100 percent okay with uh his uh, his great grandson's girlfriend joining the party uh, and so we get uh rick jumping back uh, uh, um, on top of the roof here with he grabs some rope because apparently there was some rope and um along with the pipes that he got uh in a typical nightwing fashion um so they keep fighting and uh he talent over here tells him um you must be broken or no he says you your tactics are faulty you were taught that there's a line not to be crossed meaning don't kill like batman taught him taught that life is to be prever preserved rather than taken and he says you, you must be broken of that softness if you're to join us as an assassin um and then i love this the talon just slashes him and cuts that rope that he put around himself it's like that rope served zero purpose i don't even know why it was there other than other than to show rick's uh resourcefulness right and so um then we get uh talon kind of victorious here and he finally drops the bomb on him that he is his great grandfather and rick's like yeah that's impossible so we go see we go meet up with the other nightwings down here they are 
out there taking care of the looters. And uh, this old woman comes up to them and says they're breaking into the clinic. And if um, no one stops them, the people won't be able to access their, their medication. And so the Nightwings run over there to help. And um, um, the uh, the firefighter one, I, I can't remember his name. Hutch? I think his name is Hutch. Hutch and Sap. I and then, oh, I can't remember the girl's name. Um, sorry about that. Um, he basically gives um, a speech to the to the looters. He says, stop this insanity and listen. Bloodhaven may not be as pretty or shiny as Metropolis, but it's yours. Y'all live here. Burn it down and you'll only hurt each other. You have a choice. You can touch, you can torch everything in sight or you can help your neighbors and yourselves. Make life better for everyone. And they all kind of stop and like, oh, yeah, maybe you got a point. And then one dude's even like, Maybe so, but times are tough, and I like the idea of everything being free. Yeah, great looter mindset right there. Then they look up, and someone goes, hey, what's wrong with this guy? And now, I knew what was wrong with this guy when he said that, but we'll uh, get to that here in a book, in the, uh, later in the book. And then someone says, it's a sign from God, and someone else says, it's not, not from God, it's the devil. Um and then we got more Talon versus Nightwing goodness up here. Um, and then... Not, or, or Rick Grayson is like, you actually think you're my great grandfather, then you're the one that's deluded. Um, he'd be well over 100, which clearly isn't the case. And then Talon fires back. He says, How can you trust your opinion when your memories are long gone? Maybe kind of gaslighting his great grandson there um, a little bit. And then B notices something that's going, what's going on with the sky, and boom, it is the sigil of doom. Now, if you haven't been reading uh, Justice League, uh, recently there has been this big story arc where the the it's the basically the the balance of the forces of doom versus the balance of the forces of justice and um Lex Luthor has been working with the Legion of Doom along with Perpetua, who is the mother of the Monitor, the Anti-Monitor, and the World Forger, trying to push all of the universe towards Doom, and that is the Sigil of Doom, and the issue of Justice League that I reviewed this week posted that le yesterday. Um, they did succeed and push everything towards Doom, and that's what we see uh, in, in the sky there, so that's just a little bit of context about what's going on there, and if you have any questions about that, let me know uh, in the comments. And so I love Talon here. He says, it means that the moment has come for humanity to embrace a very new reality. And so um, Nightwing, him, keep fighting. Nightwing manages uh, to pull his mask off. I keep calling him Nightwing, even though he's not Nightwing right now. But the title is still Nightwing, so he's Nightwing. He'll be Nightwing again. Um, and so they just keep fighting. And um, <laughs> Talon kind of runs down the family tree. Some of the dialogue is definitely um, a little cheesy. And he's been carrying this um, this box around that you see uh, right here, and there's a pair of goggles in it. And he says, um, uh, "They gave me the Electrum that keeps me alive, just as they gave me these very special goggles. So you, my ultimate pride and joy, may might finally fulfill your destiny." So a little bit more fighting, and then uh, Talon finally gets the the goggles on on Nightwing and says, uh, um, "You know, you were destined to." Uh, you stand on the precipice of the living, the life you were destined to lead, Richard, the one that was etched in stone from the minute you were born. Welcome to the court, Richard. At long last, you are a talent. We get this great shot here of him with the goggles on. So, um, I don't know what exactly is going on with these goggles. Like, are they like a mind control device or are they projecting uh, something into his eyes? Not quite sure what's going on there, but I do like this story that we're leaning into with um, his... Uh, Dick Grayson's lineage and um, his great grandfather with the owls and forcing him into uh, becoming a talent and I think we go uh, move down that path uh, going forward in the Nightwing books. I like that story so much more than I like the other Nightwings that kind of came about once uh, Dick Grayson lost his memory. So uh, I'm back. I'm enjoying Nightwing again. So thank you guys for recommending it to me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. And if you guys stuck out uh, through all of the, the, the Rick Grayson stuff, more power to you. Um, let me know what you guys thought about issue 65 down in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here at the channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.